The Korumshar missile is an Iranian medium-range ballistic missile, first publicly revealed in 2017. It can carry both conventional and nuclear payloads, uses liquid-fueled propulsion technology, and has a range of up to 2,000 kilometers. Its warhead can weigh up to 1,800 kilograms and can hit multiple targets. A special feature is its maneuverable re-entry vehicle, which helps it evade missile defense systems and strike with high accuracy. Iran's missile technology journey began during the Iran-Iraq War in the 1980s. The Khorramshahr missile was unveiled in 2017 and is named after a city damaged during that war. Experts believe its design is based on North Korea's HWASONG-10 missile, but with significant upgrades by Iran. The Khorramshahr missile's strength lies in its speed, payload capacity, and advanced flight control systems. It can reach speeds of up to Mach 8 and has an accuracy with a circular error probable of around 30 to 50 meters. Its guidance system combines inertial navigation and satellite guidance, and its maneuverable reentry vehicle, or MARV, capability allows it to dodge air defense systems. The upgraded KHORRAMSHAHR 4 variant has a similar 2,000 kilometer range, enhanced guidance systems, and multi warhead capability. Strategically, the Khorramshahr missile is a significant asset in Iran's defense strategy. Geopolitically, it can target distant adversaries like Israel and Saudi Arabia and has the capacity to strike U.S. bases across the Middle East. It embodies Iran's deterrence doctrine, which aims to discourage enemy attacks through the threat of retaliation. Approximate distances from Iran are Israel at 1,500 km, Saudi Arabia at 1,200 km, Turkey at 1,600 km, and U.S. bases in Kuwait, Bahrain, and Qatar are all within 1,000 km. Regarding nuclear concerns, while Iran claims the Khorramshahr is designed for conventional warheads, international analysts argue it is fully capable of carrying nuclear warheads. Currently, Iran does not possess proven nuclear weapons. However, this missile is considered ideal as a nuclear delivery platform. The Khorramshahr missile test triggered strong reactions from major global powers. The United States cited the missile's development as one reason the Trump administration withdrew from the Iran nuclear deal in 2018. Israel has repeatedly stated that Iran's missile program is a threat to its very existence. Saudi Arabia is deeply concerned and is bolstering its own missile defense systems. The United Nations has raised accusations that Iran is violating UN Security Council Resolution 2231, which restricts the development of nuclear-capable ballistic missiles. Looking to the future, Iran has announced it is developing more advanced and self-reliant missile systems, building its defense industry using entirely domestic technology. Upcoming goals include the development of solid fuel missiles, plans for hypersonic missile technology, and the creation of space launch vehicles, which could potentially double as intercontinental ballistic missiles. The Khorramshahr missile is not just a weapon. It's a symbol of Iran's rising influence in the strategic landscape of the Middle East. While it has strengthened Iran's defense posture, it has also escalated regional tensions. As Iran's relationships with global powers become increasingly complex, these missiles are likely to play a crucial role in shaping the future of regional and even global stability. The provided text does not offer an opinion on whether the Khorramshahr missile will lead the world towards peace or war.